authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Uh, good evening, everybody. We had a very nice day today, even complete with a little bit of rain showers. We've got some more of those rain showers on the way. You can kind of see these dark spots beneath the cloud cover. That indicates rainfall happening pretty far away. Actually, honestly, it really looks like the beginning of the Lion King, doesn't it? I'm trying to restrain my vocal cords here from shouting out. But this traffic actually looking a little bit standstillish. If you're heading that way on I-20, do look out. Thanks to the West Texas State Bank Weather Cam, we've got a great look at those conditions out there and those very pretty skylines. Now, as far as as dew points go, we are seeing a lot of moisture out here. 42 degrees, our current dew point, which is pretty well above the upper 20s that we normally expect for this time of year. Now, that means that we've got enough moisture to work with to give us some of those showers and potentially maybe even some more showers before we end the day. This large, large sized low pressure system kind of hanging right over southeast New Mexico in the northern basin. Very cool to see when these features happen right overhead. But fortunately for us, we're not looking at a very strong low pressure system. It's just very big in terms of scale, bringing a little bit of rain to the southeastern basin. Terrell County looking a little showery as well. Now, as far as the precipitation goes, we're not talking about snow. We're not looking at strong thunderstorms or anything. We've got a pretty good line of showers, but again, not really developing into anything serious. We're just looking at regular showers and if we do get more of this rain developing in southeast New Mexico tracking towards Odessa Midland, again, that's also going to be just showers. Temperatures are way too warm to support snow, ice, freezing rain or anything like that. So again, we're just looking at regular old rainfall. South of I-10, same story, just regular old rainfall moving through Fort Stockton into Terrell County for the most part. And just to give you an idea of the scale of this massive, massive sized low pressure system, it's almost as big as our entire viewing area even extending out uh, into the outskirts outside of our viewing area, making its way into Dallas already. Now, again, a large sized low pressure, but not a very strong one. So we're not, again, looking at any thunderstorm chances or strong rain chances or anything like that. I do not anticipate any flooding to come through. Meanwhile, temperatures today picking up a little bit over what they were yesterday. 55 was our high temperature yesterday, coming in just a little bit below average for this time of year. Today, we're picking up a little bit above average. 59 degrees, our high temperature. 35 are low. And notice we're coming in just above average on both ends of that scale. Now, tomorrow morning, temperatures in the morning are going to be a little bit warmer thanks to a little bit of this cloud cover, a little bit of those higher dew points, and even some of the moisture left over from the rain is going to help keep our temperatures fairly consistent throughout the overnight hours, or at least more consistent than we have seen the past couple of mornings. Now going forward through about 10 p.m., notice most of that rain beginning to phase out finally. We've still got that low pressure tracking off to the east, but it's not going to be doing too much to our forecast after we get through the evening hours tonight. Notice most of that peeling away by 10 a.m. We're still looking pretty clear here in West Texas, and then that low pressure finally phases all the way out by tomorrow evening. Now we've got some very calm conditions coming our way for today and into tomorrow. We didn't see too much in the way of really activity except for that shower that we saw yesterday or earlier this afternoon. Our high temperatures picking up to 60 degrees with those winds kind of breezy about 15 miles per hour. So expect another very similar day for tomorrow. We've got some pretty modest wind speeds out to the west. The Marfa Plateau picking up near 20 miles per hour. Pecos right near 15. Here in the basin, though, we're pretty calm. Now, these wind speeds are not going to track to the east, so don't expect any breezy conditions to take over just yet. It's not until we get towards the middle of the week, towards the end of the middle of the week, that we really see those wind speeds ramping up. First, by Wednesday at 4 p.m., ramping up out to the west, the same higher elevation, seeing elevated wind speeds now. Likely we'll see some higher elevated wind speeds for tomorrow afternoon as well. But also that wind direction is playing a part too, coming in out of the north by the time we get to Thursday morning. That'll work to pull in some cooler air, keeping our temperatures cool for Thursday. So do look out for that. Now, as far as our wind speeds go for today, we're still dealing with some very mild wind speeds, even in the overnight hours. That wind direction coming in out of the west, keeping our temperatures a little bit warmer for tomorrow than what we saw for today. And then we'll see kind of a wave of cool air. I wouldn't necessarily call it a cold front. It's not coming with any rain chances or too much in the way of high wind speeds. Just about 10, 15 miles per hour, and it's not even coming with any clouds by Thursday. So tomorrow's high picking up to 64 degrees, significantly warmer than what we had for today. And then Thursday rolls around and we drop down to 58 degrees, picking right back up again on Friday before a real cold front kind of comes through Saturday, dropping us back a little bit below average for Saturday's highs. And also notice that holiday season yeah, coming our way. That. Yeah, it's, it's looking.
Christmas. It's looking a little dry, unfortunately. Yeah. If you're wishing for a white Christmas, I hate to disappoint, but it looks like at least if you're wishing for a bike, you'll get to ride it on Christmas. There's yeah, some no people who do like a dry Christmas. There you go. Without a lot of rain or sleet or snow. Mm -hmm. Uneventful. <laughs> All right, Chase, thank you.